There we go. Hi guys. Um, you cannot see us, but Mrs. Fortune and I are here. <laughs> There's her hand. Here's my hand. Hello. <laughs> and we are going to talk to you today about fractions and decimal fractions. So what we have laid out here on the table is our unit and our unit divided into 10 equal pieces. So one or a unit and my tenths. And I want to show you that another way that we represent the unit here with our math materials is with a unit bead, which always rolls around, right? And we have a material that represents tenths that's different than this tenth from this fraction, but it's still the same value. And it looks like this. In the upper elementary, we have these little um, cubes. On the early L side, you have these disks, and they still represent a tenth, one, uh, one tenth of a unit. So I'm going to place my tenths here on the tenths of my unit. There's a tenth. There's a tenth. Whoops. There went a tenth. <laughs> Here's a tenth. Thank you, Mrs. Fortune. Here's a tenth. There's a tenth. <laughs> a tenth. A tenth a tenth and a tenth, okay? So I have my unit and I have my unit divided into 10 equal pieces, which gives me a tenth, okay? So we're gonna keep going here. Um, I'm gonna take my unit down, and put it here in the middle of my, my mat. And you know already that if I take this unit and divide it into 10 equal pieces, that I get one tenth. 10 tenths make one unit. But what if I take my one tenth and I divide that into ten equal pieces? Well, I get a hundredth. Okay, ten hundredths make one tenth. Ten tenths make a unit. This hundredth is my unit broken into one hundred equal pieces. You can understand why we don't have this kind of a fraction broken into a hundred <laughs> pieces, right? We we all know why. Okay, so units tenths, hundredths, but I'm not done. So if I take my hundredth and I divide it into 10 equal pieces, I get a thousandth. 10 thousandths make one hundredth, 10 hundredths make one tenth, 10 tenths make a unit. This is my unit broken into 1,000 equal pieces, so small, but we're not done. If I take my thousandth, and I divide it into 10 equal pieces, I'll get 10 thousandths. 10 10 thousandths make a thousandth. 10 thousandths make one hundredth. 10 hundredths make a tenth. 10 tenths make a unit. This is my unit broken into 10,000 equal pieces. Not done. If I take my 10,000th and I break it into 10 equal pieces, then I get 100 thousandths. 10 hundred thousandths make one ten thousandth. 10 ten thousandths make a thousandth. 10 thousandths make one hundredth. 10 hundredths make a tenth. 10 tenths make a unit. This, guys, is my unit broken into 100,000 equal pieces. No way, right? We don't <laughs> want that anywhere on our shelves. That would be a disaster. Well, you must be done by now, Miss Cersei. No, I'm going to go. <laughs> I can keep going. No okay. Way. If I take my 100,000th and I break it into 10 equal pieces, that's going to give me my millionths, okay? Oh. 10 millionths make 100,000th. Ten hundred thousandths make one ten thousandth. Ten ten thousandths make one thousandth. Ten thousandths make one hundredth. Ten hundredths make one tenth. And ten tenths make a unit. Okay. You know, maybe you're kind of used to thinking of a unit as being pretty small, but when you want to go really small, you can think about your unit broken into one million equal pieces. Now, we have numbers that are not just though on this side of my unit. 
right? And so we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit with those as well. Okay. If I have my unit and I take 10 of my units, take this out from here if that's okay, I have a 10, right? 10 units make one 10. And if I take 10 10s, I get 100, right? And if I take 10 hundreds, I get a unit of 1,000. If I take 10 units of thousands, I get one ten thousand. If I take 10 ten thousands, that's one hundred thousand. Whoop, they're rolling on me, sorry. And if I take 10 hundreds of thousands, I get one mil oh shoot, they're it's off. Not quite one the slide the million. There, I can move it a little bit that way. Okay, so here's my unit, pretty important. Here's my unit taken 10 times. Here's my unit divided into 10 equal pieces. Here's my unit. This is my unit taken 100 times, and this is my unit divided into 100 equal pieces. My unit taken 1,000 times, my unit divided into 1,000 equal pieces. My unit taken 10,000 times. My unit divided into 10,000 equal pieces. My unit taken 100,000 times. My unit divided into 100,000 pieces. The unit taken a million times one unit divided into one million equal pieces. Really, really, really big. Really, 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 really small. So now we're going, we're going to label these pieces, right? So um, I'm just gonna shuffle some things around on our felt here. And I'm gonna start on this side of, um, of the unit that we're all really familiar with, okay? So there's my unit. And I'm gonna turn these to the sides just so we have a little bit of room. There's my 10, there's my 100, there's my unit of 1,000, my 10,000, my 100,000, and my million. Does that look okay? Can you see that yep. okay? All right, now I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna take this 10 and I'm gonna roll it this way, turn it upside down. And I have these fancy little um, sparkly decimal points that we're gonna have stand in for our decimal points here, okay? And I'm gonna see that I have a zero in my units place when I have one tenth, and then a decimal point and one tenth. Okay, it's upside down, but you see what we're doing. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my 100 and I'm gonna roll it over this way. And I have a zero in my units place a decimal point, a zero in my tenths place, and a one in my hundredths place. Now I'm going to take my thousand card, roll it over. And I have a zero in my units place, a decimal point, zero in my tenths place, zero in my hundredths place, one in my thousandths place. Ten thousands are going to come over here decimal point, zero in my units place, decimal point, zero in my tenths place, zero in my hundredths, zero in my thousandths, one ten thousandth. And I think I can start this out just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm going to take my hundred thousand card from over here and see that I have a zero in my units place and my decimal point. And that decimal point tells us that we're dealing with a fraction or a part of a whole, a decimal fraction. So zero in my units place, a decimal point, zero in my tenths place, zero in my hundredths place, zero in my thousandths place, zero ten thousandths, 
100,000. And then the million card over here. Does that work? Okay. This is Fortune. We, do you want to put the decimal point in? And so a zero in my units place in my decimal point. Zero tenths, zero hundredths, zero thousandths, zero ten thousandths, zero hundred thousandths, one millionth. But Emily, you say, that is so fiddly to think about those cards and flipping it over. Well, guess what, guys? We actually have cards um, for this material. Um, but what is really cool is we want to point out the relationship between the zeros here and the decimal points. So I'm going to kick this 10 back over here, and we're going to put our 10th, our card, where it's supposed to go. And I'm going to put this 100 back over here, and then the 100th is going to go where it needs to go. I'm going to get rid of this thousandths. Oops, I left a decimal point. <laughs> Gonna take the ten thousands, take those ah, hundred thousands, just like in the classroom, <laughs> and I'll take the millions. Okay. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to use the sparkly ones again soon. Yes, <laughs> you will. So what we have is, um, can I move this down a little mm -hmm. bit towards you again? Okay. So what we have here is um, our decimal system uh, with decimal fractions that go to the millionths and um, up to the millions. And what we know is the numbers go on and on and on forever. So they're gonna go on forever on this side of the unit and into the decimal fractions. And we're gonna hold up something that's called, um, an, that we have as an aid to understanding. And it's this um, propeller that kind of shows that the um, unit is here in the center of the decimal system and then how the tens and tenths, hundreds and hundreds, thousands and thousands line up. So I'll just be, whoa, there's a glare, sorry. <laughs> Let you guys take a look at that for a minute. And we're gonna stop this video now with this notation and um, we're gonna talk, um, we're gonna put up a, another video later that talks about the decimal board and how to read decimal numbers mm -hmm. so i'm going to go ahead and click stop well actually before you do that yeah. um, emily the um i know i have some third graders who have had this lesson mm -hmm. and have made a chart of this in their math notebooks um, which you probably don't have with you at home so even if you've already made this chart i'm going to encourage all of you that have watched this and maybe watch it a couple of times and then i'd like to see you make a chart of the, um, the the hierarchy of these categories. And um, maybe I'll make a sample and try to post that for you to give you an idea of how to do that. So that would be a great exercise for my students to do before moving on to the next lesson. Yeah, and I would say that's actually not a terrible idea for the upper L as well, just because um, upper L, you have worked with this material and if you, you've seen this notation, but what tends to get really rusty if you're not looking at it a lot is remembering um, how many places behind the decimal point these different categories are. So it would not be a terrible use of your time to do that as well. Okay, so we're gonna um, stop with this one for today uh, and we'll see you in a bit with more decimals.